There are a number of useful printing functions that are included within the SIS gradebook. These functions allow you to print a blank gradebook, allow you to print progress reports, and also allow you to view additional information and print reports about the assignments in your class. Many teachers like to have a blank gradebook that's been printed so they can record scores by hand and then enter them into their SIS later. To print a blank gradebook, select on Grades, Gradebook Reports, and then from the menu that appears on the left, you can select to print blank gradebooks. You can print all of your sections in all your classes at one time by selecting the checkbox to search all sections, which will produce a blank gradebook that will have all of your students and all of your classes included. More likely, though, you'll want to print by section. When you choose that option, the currently selected section will be available for you to print using the typical buttons that you'll find in your browser. To go back to your class, click the Back button and you'll return to the SIS. To print another section, select the section from the header and then select again on Blank Gradebook. Gradebook reports like the Blank Gradebook report can also be found from an open gradebook. When your gradebook is open, in the upper right corner, you'll see Reports, and from that button, you can also print a blank gradebook. The Progress Report is also an essential element of the SIS and a function that you'll return to frequently. As with a blank gradebook, you can access Progress Reports from the Reports link in the upper right-hand corner, or from the side menu under Grades, Gradebook Reports. Your progress report includes a number of options in the right-hand column that allow you to choose from letterheads that your school would have uploaded, allows you to print all classes, and provides options for how you want your progress report to appear. You should check with your school to make sure that you are meeting the requirements as established at your school location. With the student field blank, when you select on Continue, you're going to generate a progress report for all of the students in your class. You can then select all by selecting on this checkbox or select only an individual student that you want to publish. Your options at this point are to print for each selected student or you can email a progress report to each student or to each custodial contact. Depending on the option that you select, you'll see buttons in the right-hand side that will allow you to proceed with creating your progress reports. For instance, if I select to create a progress report for all of my students and to print that report, I'll select on the Print button to generate a printed report. In this format, each student's progress report can be printed on a separate sheet of paper by sending it to the printer, or it may be downloaded as a PDF. If you choose to use the email function, your email subject line will already be filled in. You will already receive a copy that will be sent to yourself, and your students will receive an email delivered to their district Gmail account. If instead you wish to send to custodial contacts, the SIS will draw from the email information on record for the parent and send to that account. To preview a progress report that you intend to send by email, select on the Preview button and a preview of the message will open in a separate tab. Once you're ready to send your email message, select on Send Emails. You've now seen the two most common reports that you'll print from the gradebook, but there are additional features within the SIS that allow you to examine information about your gradebook and about your student performance by selecting from Gradebook Reports, either from the upper right-hand corner when you have a gradebook open, or from the gradebook menu in the side menu. These reports include a graphical breakdown of all of your grades, a list of assignments where students do not have a grade recorded, failing grades that are listed in your gradebook, extra credit grades, any grades that you've highlighted, any excused grades, any transferred students that require your attention in the gradebook, 
and even an audit trail that allows you to see the changes that have been made in all of your gradebooks. As with the other new features found within the SIS, teachers now have many more tools and a great deal more information at their disposal. This includes the ability to print and email progress reports to individual students or their custodial parents, and the ability to examine your grades to look for trends or other issues that you might wish to address.